Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to ungroup or isolate Dreaming Tree SVG files using Cricut Design Space. Now, the following examples that I'm about to show you would be used if you wanted to recut one of the elements. So, for example, if one of your elements did not cut correctly and you only needed to cut out one additional piece. In addition, if you wanted to ungroup or isolate these elements to cut them in a different color cardstock. So the first example I'm going to show you is an example that does not have any score lines. Now this is going to be the easiest to do. So I have my file uploaded and as you can see I have it selected and you need to ensure that if you had additional layers in your Cricut design space you need to make sure that only one layer is selected. So in this case, I only have one element, so one layer is selected. And you will see down at the very bottom on the right hand side, you will see the contour feature. And I will click that. And on the left hand side, you'll see as I'm moving my cursor, they're changing to a different color gray. And then you can see on the right hand side, there are also some uh, layers here as well. So the easiest thing to do is just go through and click on the items you want to hide. And you'll see that the four that I've clicked have turned to a lighter gray, or you also see in the right hand side here, they've also turned, it, the background has highlighted. If I click the X button, you'll see that those have now been removed. If I click that again, I can repeat the process if I wanted them to be displayed again. So I just clicked on them and I can click the X button again and you'll see that they have been restored. And you can also do the same in the panel on the right. So as you can see, as I click that, you'll see that those are no longer highlighted in the right hand side and now they are visible in the left and you can also make your selection over to that right hand side as well and when you're done you just want to click the X button and you can see that those are hidden. In this next example I'm going to show you how to ungroup or isolate elements that also contain score lines. So in this example I'm going to remove the bottom two triangle shapes as well as remove their score lines. So in this example you're going to need to do each layer separately. So the first thing that I need to do is select one of the layers and I'm going to start with the bottom layer. And you'll see that that is the red triangle-ish elements. And I'm going to click contour. And now I'm simply going to click the two I want to remove and then the X button. And you'll see that those have been removed. And now we need to remove the score lines. As you can see, the score lines are still left over. So now I need to click on the other layer, which are the score lines, and go to contour. And if I just scroll down a little bit, you will see that these are here. And I can just go ahead and click each one of them and remove them. Let's do these over here. One, two, three three, four, and when I click the X button, you'll see that those have been removed. And so now the only things that are left are the two top triangle pieces, as well as their score lines. And now we would just need to highlight the, uh, the entire grouping and attach it, and we're ready to cut.